What's up, Gemini? It's Obsidian Lotus L. I'm here to do your daily for the 9th of November, 2020. Before we get started, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment on my channel to share your love and support. Also, if you'd like to donate to my channel or contact me for any reason, that information is going to be in the description box below. I'm running a special still for readings for $20 this week, 20 minutes for at least 20 minutes, at least 20 minutes for $20. Um, and then quick mini readings, 15 for $15. Um, like I said, the email address uh, to contact me if you're interested in a personal reading is in the description box below. And any donations are much appreciated. This is one of my only forms of income right now to help me um, maintain <laughs> paying my bills and taking care of my baby. So um, any donations are much appreciated. Okay, guys. So um, we're going to go ahead and get into the reading for you. Spirit, angels, ancestors, guides, God, please help me provide Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising with any messages you would like for them to receive. Um, also protect us with your white light of protection through the tarot. Amen. Ooh. All right. So I'm going to leave that there. <laughs> um, yeah, I've been pulling on an Oracle card for all, and here we go. So the temple for all my signs before we actually get into the tarot. With this deck, it's the Wild Unknown Archetypes by Kim Franz. So we got the temple for you, Gemini. Hopefully we can find it. All right, the temple, the sanctuary, the, str the shrine, the altar. When we think of the temple, we often envision an archetype, an architectural structure in a far off land. We are quick to distance ourselves from the sacred, assuming we must expand much effort in order to arrive there. Yet the temple is a universal and un omnipresent energy accessible to the highest and lowest, richest and poorest of places. Visiting the temple might be as simple as stepping into the dappled light of the forest. The forest slowly and sensuously kissing a lover or closing your eyes to travel inward. This card is a call to re-examine what you pay homage to and what you reject. What do you spend your time worshiping? Your phone, money, material goods? What barriers do you draw between yourself and the sacred? Perhaps there is room on your altar for something new, something surprising. Offer it to the heavens. Okay, so when in the light... Reference for all, life is a sanctuary. When in the dark, it's um, idolatry, cults, strict spirituality. So um, take it however it resonates, okay, Gemini? We're going to go ahead and actually get into the reading. Let me shuffle the cards. How are you? Spirit, angels, ancestors, God, please help me provide Gemini with any messages you would like for them to receive. So I feel like I'm already picking up some like tricky manipulation energy that's kind of got you stuck in your head or um, this energy wants you kind of um, stuck in a certain mindset, okay? Um, but I also feel like there's going to be a judgment called on that energy that's trying to keep it stuck here. Aquarius energy, the star card coming out first. So there's an energy of, um, could be in contemplating um, some kind of an emotional connection here um, with an Aquarius or there is um, Gemini, um, your prayers, you feel like your prayers are being answered as far as an Aquarius is concerned or um, a Scorpio. We have Aquarius and Scorpio energy here or it could just be recognized, being recognized for, um, let's see, something important a new relationship or a new baby and then um, a soul tie connection could possibly be with a Scorpio okay soul soulmate connection um, this could be a past life lover or um, somebody you just have a very strong you could have children 
I'm camping up the energy of children with this person as well. Um, if it's not an energy that you're with, it could be the energy of um, possibly coming together and having a child again with this energy. Queen of Wands energy. Um, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Um, this coming out too, there's two queens showing up here. So I feel like there's a karmic energy here that's kind of, like I said, there's a manipulative energy that's trying to get in between another energy here for you. Um, it could be, and it could have something to do with if you are in a, a relationship with somebody, maybe they're trying to start stuff with you and like um, a kid's father, a baby mama, something along those lines. I'm picking that energy up. Um, there could be the energy of somebody like having a new relationship and having like this karmic energy kind of not like the connection you have with this other energy. Um, but there, you're also in the energy, I feel like, um, of really being focused on mastering your craft, being all about the bag, um, and that being really kind of your main focus uh, here, Gemini. I feel like you're really seeking inner wisdom, though, for something regarding the situation that you're in here. Let's see. Could be involving an Aries because we do have the Emperor here. I just looked at. Spirit Angels. Yeah, there's something funky about communication with this fire sign going on here. So it could be a past connection or you're just going to be moving on to a different. Yeah, there's no communication or hard communication. So there could be difficult communication with an, a fire sign right now. God, Spirit Angels, Ancestors, please help me provide any messages. What is this star card for Gemini? The Eight of Pentacles again here. So really focusing on something about your work. You're going to be recognized or get a promotion. I feel like your prayers are going to be answered as far as some type of situation concerning money for you or work. Okay. What is this? Ace of Cups energy. Um, Four of Wands. So this could be a twin flame energy. Fire energy doesn't have to be though. But this is harmony in your home coming up with the uh, Ace of cups so i like this energy together right next to the two of cups i feel like you're going to be very happy um whatever abundance you've got coming in i feel like it's going to kind of flood over whatever this happiness your prayers being answered in your financial life it's going to kind of flood over into your love life as well here okay could be involving a sagittarius energy or this is just speaking of having balance right so um here's this queen of wands energy again okay could be involving a fire sign as well but there needs to be some sort of balance in a situation here. Um, what is this Queen of Wands and Temperance card? That was too many, sorry. Spirit, help me elaborate on what this Queen of Wands and Temperance. Somebody feels left out in the cold here, a fire sign. Could be a Sagittarius energy. So this abundance is coming in, a possibly new love um, or a soulmate connection, water energy, but there's a fire sign that feels left out in the cold. Um, what is this two of cups energy for Gemini? Ten of cups, yeah, so again, Ten of Cups coming in here. This is this family, like, there's going to be, I feel like if, if you're not living with somebody, you're going to be living with someone here. Family uh, dynamic. Um, could be same sex, doesn't have to be, but there are two women in this in this picture and the other picture. So two women, two men. Um, but there's an energy of spying, gossiping, and lying here showing up. So I feel like it's whatever this energy that feels like they've been left out in the cold. Um, I feel like Spirit is saying, this transition is, is going to be happy for you in your life, but be prepared to be dealing with some shenanigans here with this other person because somebody's watching um, and ready to start shit. <laughs> Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. 
the hangman in reverse. So uh, I feel like they wanted you to be stuck with them in a situation and you're just not, you're not, I mean, you can't tell a Gemini shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, my baby daddy is a Gemini. So I know. So I feel like this energy wanted to try to keep you stuck and it just didn't work. And so, you know, I feel like they might even try to contact or message this person that you get involved with to start stuff or have an involvement with. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune reverse. They don't want you to be changing partners here, right? So they want to keep you stuck in a situation with them. Or if it's past tense, they, they just don't want you to move forward to something new with anybody else here. What is this priest card for Gemini? Clarity, mental clarity involving an air sign. Okay, so you've been seeking mental um, clarity, inner wisdom. Really, I think doing a lot of like meditation, prayer. Um, maybe you've t separated yourself from this energy to take some time away and kind of figure out what you know, was going on here. Cause I feel like this is low vibrational energy and there was something you just didn't trust about this energy, fire energy, air energy. Um, doesn't have to be any of those, it's just the energies of the cards are on the table, but there's a level of being in the action of really seeking mental clarity and kind of, um, working hard and doing the right thing and wanting to bring in, you know, um, have a connection where you feel like it flows, it brings harmony in your home and not disharmony, basically. Okay. Um, so maybe I, for somebody, there was an element of somebody's like kid didn't like somebody. And I feel like for you, Gemini, it's a no go. Like if my kid doesn't like you, I don't like you. Like your kid did. I mean, and I feel like this person, I mean, it's not the, I mean, it's just kind of, and I feel like, like if your kids don't like them, they don't like them. And that should be a deal breaker for most people, but some people just don't think that way okay so children should always come first spirit angels ancestors guides please help me provide gemini with any messages sun moon rising the ace of swords so the energy um i feel like this is an energy of um, you have an energy coming in sexually that you feel like you can be yourself with, sexually free, experiment, uh, tie somebody up. Uh, maybe it feel kind of like comfortable to like wave your freak flag, right, Gemini? And I feel like you like that. Let's see. You want to take a new beginning because you feel like this with this person. <laughs> okay. And then justice could be involving a Libra energy. So a situation, there's justice. The scales are being balanced here concerning a Libra energy here. Let's see, what is this Libra energy? Um, the Queen of Wands. Yeah, this is the karmic energy. So you could have been, like the karmic energy could be, like I said, I was picking up heavy air, a Libra or justice just with this karmic energy. And then you just moving uh, freely. So I feel like the, the, the towards the new beginning that you want in a situation, I guess, where you feel like you will be happier, have a more harmonious, God, I can't talk right now, harmonious life or have happiness in your home. Okay. So if it's a connection where, you know, you have kids you want or kid, kids, plural, whatever. Um, this is somebody that either you're living with or will have around your kid a lot. I feel like it's just this, this connection wasn't working in that sense is what I'm picking up for somebody. And so um, I feel like there was, that's a manipulation you've really tried to get clarity on and get free from here. But there's justice coming in that situation for you here. Okay. Let's see. Yep. This person is under judgment for whatever manipulation they've been trying to uh, bring in your life. And I feel like, cause look at the little boy here. I feel like there's, there has something to do with children. Okay. So this person is under judgment for trying to meddle in some stuff they shouldn't have here. However, that makes sense. All right. Or just, they could have tried to trap you with a pregnancy or something or lie or uh, get you pregnant. If it's a, you know, if you're a female or something, 
something, I don't know. For somebody I'm even picking up like this, this energy was trying to like cause chaos between like two parents, right? So it's like they didn't, they felt insecure. And so they didn't want like, they wanted to replace baby daddy or baby mama because they were insecure and there was going to be judgment and justice in this situation because of whatever that energy was and what they were trying to do here. All right. So let me see. What other messages do we have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising? We say, if you date somebody with kids, you gotta be, <clears throat> you can't be insecure about baby mamas and baby daddies. You just, you gotta learn how to be an adult about it. Or just don't date somebody with kids, right? So. No conditions aren't favorable right now. Wait or look into another, into other options and ask the angels to help guide you and comfort you. So if there's something you've been thinking about making a rash, rash fast decision about Gemini, I feel like Spirit is saying wait. It could be in reference to a job or it could be like if you're thinking about moving in with somebody quick or something. I feel like Spirit is saying wait, okay? Seek this inner wisdom and clarity here. You have an important life purpose involving communication in the arts. Please don't allow um, insecurities to hold you back. I will help you, Archangel Gabriel. So there's something you could be a performer or something that you communicate somehow in the arts um, that I feel like is going to um, benefit you. This could be what you're being recognized for too. So maybe um, really uh, ask Archangel Gabriel if you pray. Um, this angel will help you in moving forward, um, navigating how to kind of bring um, this purpose into your life, right? Um, and, and not let your insecurities hold you back concerning this, right? So, um, or if it's just like letting go of uh, vibrational energies or insecure energies or whatever that like kind of like keep you from going after your life purpose or being yourself, right? And again, I feel like you're wanting to move towards, that's what I was picking up, this energy of wanting to move towards somebody that you feel like you can be yourself with. So there was kind of a blockage here too. I feel like maybe this is the energy again, picking up heavy control manipulation, like you can't talk to your baby mama or daddy, you can't do this. And it's just like, no more, right? <laughs> Jim and I, I feel like you're over it. All right, let's see. As you follow or as you honor and follow your guidance, the guidance of your heart, prosperity is coming to you now, right? So I feel like, yeah, I feel like trust your inner wisdom, your intuition and prosperity and abundance is coming to your life. Okay. I'm going to leave that there for you, Gemini. I hope the reading was helpful until next time, guys, lots of love and light. Like I said before, don't forget to like subscribe and comment on my channel to show your love and support. Also, if you would like a personal reading, please take advantage of it right now. I'm still offering readings for $20, 20 minutes, at least 20 minutes for a donation of $20. So take advantage of it while you can. It's only this week. Okay, guys, that information is also going to be in the description box below. Love and light. Bye.